So the reason <laughs> planets so are round, fun. you guys, is because of gravity. <laughs> and the reason asteroids are not quite round, they don't quite have enough, enough gravity. gravity. So with all this in mind, Casey, so the president's budget <laughs> request this year was extraordinarily low. Destructive, yeah. So uh, destructive. Draconian, unstrategic, wasteful, wow, needlessly Wow, tell us how you yeah. really feel. These are the polite terms. So along this line, is it, as an observer, is it a bargaining technique just to go into the meeting saying we're going to give you half what you asked for and so that they would reach three quarters of what you asked for when they split the difference? No, because this predates this whole process. The, the person who runs the budget office in the White House called a shot three years ago when he, he, he published a, a report saying he wanted himself to cut NASA science by 50%. This is this is deeper. You're talking about the Vodster, Russ. Russ Vod, Russ yeah, Vod. the director of the Office of yeah. Management and Budget, who we don't have to go into this level of detail, but <laughs> <laughs> that's what the Space Policy Edition is for. Yeah. The uh, but the point is is but that the Star Talk listeners are interested well, in deeper, how we got here. There's man. a deeper level of animosity clearly being expressed yes. towards federal investment in science Correct. that I think is profoundly short sighted. Right. And ignores the wild benefits that have come from, again, this very brief, in one person's lifetime, the United States went from not funding science barely at all to having, you know, winning most Nobel Prizes in science, right? That all started again and started in the late 1940s 